Charmonique, you look amazing. Thanks, Jeanette, you too. Did you hear about Joe Minor? His wife left him and he got hair plugs. Okay, that's nice. Listen, <laughs> hey, hey, bring it down. Now, I don't mean no disrespect, but I did not come here to talk smack with you thirsty ratchets. I came here for one reason and one reason only. Charmonique. Mitchell. Hi, Mitchell. Jeanette Chantel, please break the hell out. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I would never let that happen. You have to know that I've waited a long time for this opportunity, Charmonique. Me too. When I heard that you were a mother, well, there were no words to describe the way I felt. But when I found out you weren't married or even with the father, I... Shh, Mitchell, no, no, wait. Let's not do this here. Let's get rid of our coats and find a quiet place to talk. Wonderful. That's a great idea. Okay. I certainly don't mean to lecture you, but when you engage in immoral sex, it's not just an oops upside your head. It's also an oops upside the head of our Lord and Creator, Christ Almighty. Oh, Mitchell, come on. You were on tour with Joe to see. Which is why I had to repent, specifically for providing the leatherware in that freaking you video. When I think about all the fornication I fostered. I can't believe I flat ironed my MJB for this. Excuse me, Mitchell, I have to check in on my son. Hey, while you're at it, could you also check in on the son of God? He's been waiting to hear from you. Hello. Eliza, is everything okay? Everything's great. Uh-oh, I hear Eddie Murphy. Kevin is just a little anxious, maybe about going to bed. Well, did you give him his bedtime nuggets? His what? His bedtime nuggets. I told you, he needs two or three of those before he can go to sleep. His bedtime nuggets, of course, I completely forgot. Hey, Kevin, would you like some bedtime nuggets? You know what? I would. Ah. Oh, thanks, Shermanique. Somehow you called at the exact right time. I knew exactly what to do. You're the best mom ever. You know what? I am. Everything good? Everything's great. You know, I don't know if you were trying to make me feel bad about my life choices, but I'm sorry, Father McMoney, I don't. And I'm glad that you found higher love. But I have self-love. And that's real love. So now, if you'll excuse me, they're playing my jam. Sometimes, when the grind window closes, the door to enlightenment opens. Real love.